Let's look at problem number six. Fred, with a mass of 60 kilograms, is running with the football at a speed of 6 meters per second when he is met head on by Brutus Maximus with a mass of 120 kilograms, who is moving at 4 meters per second. Brutus grabs Fred in a tight grip and they fall to the ground. Which way do they slide and how far? The coefficient of kinetic friction between football uniforms and astroturf is 0 0.3. So we can look at this as first a collision and then after they collide they move together because they're in a tight grip so they fall together and then they slide in a certain direction and because there's friction then they eventually come to a stop. So I'm going to draw Fred on the left and Brutus on the right. Fred has a mass of 60 kilograms and he's going at 6 meters per second and Brutus has a mass of 120 kilograms, twice as heavy and he's going at 4 meters per second and to figure out which way they're going to go is we can use conservation of momentum so we can figure out the total momentum before and say okay well my momentum here is going to be 60 times 6 which is 3, 6 times 36 and remember momentum doesn't have nice units and then 120 times 4 is going to be 480 kilogram meters per second. If you want it to be very nice about it, maybe you can say P for Fred and for Brutus. So who has more momentum? Brutus has more momentum. This is momentum to the left, plus momentum to the right. And so this one's going to win out. Total momentum before is going to be this 360 minus 480, which if we subtract them, uh, should be able to do this on my head. 480 minus 360, 120, but negative. So that's our momentum before. To find out the speed afterward, we can say, okay, well, that's the momentum before. Afterward, they're moving together. So afterward, they're going to have this momentum, but it's going to be both their masses together. So it's going to be 60 plus 120 together, whatever speed they're going at. So we divide 120 by that sum, 120 over 60 plus 120, and I get point six six etc. So that's that is the speed at which they're going, and I didn't put in the negative, so it should be a negative. I'm gonna go to the left, 0 0.667 meters per second. That's how fast we're going to the left. Now we want to find out how far they slide. And let's look at, we're going to consider them both as one particle. So we know that there is a normal force that has a magnitude of mg, because we're imagining this is just happening on a flat surface. So there's no acceleration up or down. There is a force of friction. They're going to the left, so the force of friction goes the opposite way. And that's going to be force of friction is equal to your coefficient of friction times your normal force and then you have your weight going down these cancel out and this is your friction this is going to cause your acceleration so your acceleration will be governed by f equals ma this is kind of, I'm kind of drawing it out but it's good to look at everything again f equals ma the only force in the x direction is this kinetic friction force so that's mu kn mu kn equals ma but mu kn is mu k times mg. So mu k times mg equals ma, and our m's cancel out so that my acceleration is mu k times g. And now that I have a initial velocity, a acceleration, and a final velocity, because they're going to come to a stop, we can figure out how far they slide. And so there should be, we have an equation that governs or that relates the velocities, the acceleration, and the positions. This one is zero. Sorry, no, wait, no. This one's zero. This one is not zero. This initial velocity is this number. So then this is equal to negative 2a delta x, but I think our acceleration is actually should be a negative 
because or, or no, oh, actually, no, wait, I'm not even sure. Something's negative. Delta x is negative. Yeah, because we go to the left, so our delta x will come out negative, and that's gonna make sense. Make it so that it makes sense for this to be a. Uh, Oh, okay, well, I'm not taking a square root, so it doesn't even matter. All right, anyway, we're solving for delta x. Delta x equals negative v naught squared over 2a. Plug so in some numbers. v naught 0 0.067. So, already had that on here. Square that, divide by 2, divide by the acceleration. What is mu k? Mu k we know is 0.3. So that divide by 2, divide by 9.81, divide by 0.3. We get 0 0.076. Do you guys can still see this? Yeah. 0 0.076 meters. No one's done.